Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. So this is my second video for like back to school videos, I guess. Um, so today I'm going to be going over what I got for school supplies, my school supplies haul really. Yeah, I am a senior this year, so this is kind of like on the minimal side. Uh, this is kind of my senior school supplies haul, my last school supplies haul in high school. So let's get into it. So first, we're going to start off with my backpack. This is my backpack this year. I have gotten a new backpack pretty much every year. This is by um, Herschel. I This is my favorite backpack so far. Like, This is probably one of the nicest backpacks I've ever owned. This was $75. I got this at Tilly's. I'll just take you um, pocket by pocket. I'll show you the pocket, show you what's inside. This is like real stuff too. Like I've already started school, so I already have like school stuff in my uh, school supplies. So let's start. Let's start with the first big pocket. So this is what it looks on the inside. It has like stripes right here. This flap right here. This is a computer sleeve. That's probably why it was so expensive, but that's what really drew me to the backpack because I could use this so far beyond high school. So, All right, first thing. I have this half inch black binder. This is for uh, my zoology class. You guys want to see like... This is a skeleton of a cat. So yeah, I only took zoology because I needed a science credit to graduate. So, okay. So the next few things. These are really, really cute notebooks. I got by the company Yobi. They were expensive, not gonna lie. These were $4 each. But what I like about them is that they're kind of simple. A lot of no notebooks these days, they are um, just like, like, patterned weirdly <laughs> I just I like simple stuff I like flat stuff so I wanted to keep my notebooks flat and for all those parents out there who like get mad at their sit their their children for like wanting nice school supplies and like not bright neon green folders or um, you know the cheapest things out there I mean in my defense, why I kind of get more expensive stuff is because I have to look at this every day for the next year of my life. So like, I want it to be nice and I want it to motivate me to learn. So that's why I got these. So this is my US Gov notebook. Let's see, do I have any US Gov notes in here? Yep, Foundation of America. Um, so yeah, it's college ruled. 100 pieces so it's perfect for my US Gov class. Okay, so my next folder is the same one but in blue. I really like this blue. Again, $4. It's just super nice and simple. It has like a nice texture. It has a folder on the inside. One second. So this is like a white folder. You can put stuff in here if you want. This is for zoology. This is my binder class. So this is the notebook that I have to take notes. So those are just some words I have for a test. These are some notes I've taken so far. I like college rule over wide rule because you can write more um, and like you won't go through as much paper as fast so yeah probably the most expensive things I bought like basics wise so besides the backpack but okay next thing is a gray folder again I'm a big person on colors so I just like my colors to be simple so this is my US Gov folder yeah I mean just papers on the inside it's got a like a kind of weird like bend over binder type situation yeah super nice it'll hold me out till the end of the class so next i have a white folder and this is for my ap lit class here i am using the binder thing um to my advantage i'm gonna put more paper in this so i don't have to use my notebook paper yeah ap lit stuff probably not very interesting i took ap lang last year so this is like this the continuation class really and it's white i really like that it's white because it's just simple and nice and not um distracting when i learn so the next folder this i had last year too and so it's, it's dirty like let's make a spot right here so this folder i always like to have a folder for like just like random school stuff if you know what i mean like for clubs or for future classes, like sometimes they give you syllabus papers. Oh, my community service stuff I need to turn in. This is a academic society that I joined this summer. It's, this will like give me a cord and um, just a whole different like opportunities. 
So yeah, this is just kind of my folder for that. And currently, if you guys know what Link Crew is, it's like a club where a bunch of people, like upperclassmen, come to the school on freshman first day and like help out and you know have groups and all these activities it's, it's a whole thing so i joined the class i'm in the class so this will serve us that because you don't really get papers you don't really grade it on anything so that's my folder for this and like random school stuff so okay next thing my favorite thing in my entire backpack is my planner i love this planner i got this from michael's it's it says find the beauty in every day super cute so this is a 18 month planner starting with July of this year. So I've been writing stuff down since the beginning of July. It's cute because for every month it has like a little saying, like a beginning page, and you can kind of start a new chapter in the month. All the way in the back, we have graph paper. If anyone needs graph paper, hit me up with my planner. Also, oh, we have line paper too. Anyone need line paper? So they have like these stickers in the back. Here's just like the first page. There's three pages of them. This is just kind of like Put fun stickers in your monthly view. The next page, this is the next page. A reminder to stay hydrated, that's super cute. There are four pages of stickers in my planner. Here's some more, it says, work hard, play hard, design a life you love, choose your own path, mind over matter. So this is a very motivational planner, if you can't tell. Here's just some bunch of random stuff, really. And then, this is my favorite one. These are just like little icons. So I use the planes, like I go on a lot of trips, so I use the planes to be like, this is when I leave, this is when I get home. Um, those are really the only ones I've used so far. <laughs> yeah, otherwise they're kind of cheesy, but I think they're cute. This has been a great planner, really. It's super heavy. So I would highly recommend getting a planner because they're super helpful, so. Oh, uh, this is just in here, but this is a book I had to read over the summer. It is fully annotated yeah okay so in my backpack i have this little pocket i don't know if you can see this it's like a scratchy pocket right here so in this little pocket i have on the inside i have put two highlighters blue and or, or yellow a sharpie pen which i my pen preference is like super fine so i like super fine pens so this is a fine sharpie pen two pencils aesthetically pleasing of course and another fine print pen you know you obviously need a pencil in every class so i can just reach in and grab it instead of having to like open a pencil bag or whatever so that's all the stuff in the big pocket so next we have what's in this top pocket right here it's just a like a little flap so i decided to make this kind of like my annotating pocket stuff since i'm taking some rigorous classes like ap lit i have just put a bunch of sticky notes in this pocket like these smaller sticky notes to annotate i put more highlighters and pens another pencil slightly pleasing i also like like super fine print pencils like i have 0.5 milliliter most people have 0.7 but i like 0.5 um some more of those like smaller sticky notes big eraser for when you make big mistakes yeah. i think that's about it yeah really there's just whatever else i didn't need in my like essentials little pencil pocket right there I just put it in here so my third pocket has basically nothing <laughs> so I have these two books that I read over the summer for AP Lit first one Raisin the Sun second one The Awakening and then my last pocket I don't even think there's anything in here license and registration for parking pass and lip gloss oh lip gloss is such a such a must you know so yeah, that's really all I have in my backpack. Those are my back to school supplies that I got, except for some more pencils and some more um, highlighters and pens that I got. But I mean, super fine is all you really gotta look for if you're trying to get what I get. So again, I had a very like minimalistic approach to my school supplies like I have for the past four years. So I hope you guys got some kind of inspiration from this. Um, maybe you haven't started school yet, still need to get supplies. I basically um, kept it simple, kept my aesthetic because I think it's super important to have an aesthetic and like have your school supplies be visually pleasing because you have to look at it all year. So if you guys want to know where those are from, 
I can write down the brands, like just hit me up in the comments if you want the brands. But basically I got all my stuff from Target except for that planner which is from Michaels. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is just a small school supplies haul. Next I'll be doing a clothing haul and this is one of my new stuff that I got. So yeah, see you guys next time.